What are your thoughts about the uh, remembrance today? Well, there are many. I mean, first of all, having two first ladies here um, joining together speaks to the significance of, you know, the events and the importance of this. That, you know, this is for all America. It uh, acts worth the passing through the significance and importance of honoring their memory. And the words that Mrs. Obama said today, they seem to be very touching. What was your reaction to her? Well, I think both first ladies you know, speak from the heart. Yes. You know, obviously, um, Mrs. Obama here speaking on behalf of the country, the president. Um, Mrs. Bush speaking here from her experiences of being here six days after the attack. Both very personal comments. Yes. Um, they touch me. What are the plans for the site uh, in the future? Yeah, they're behind you here. And uh, what is the memorial going to look like here? I was in Oklahoma City in, just in June. Yeah. I visited that memorial, and it was extremely moving for me. It is. It, it, uh, this is going to really be, you know, this was about the renewal of the land, the soul. It's going to be a land state park. So you know, really restoring the contours of the land, created protecting the uh, sacred ground where the uh, passengers and crew member uh, fly and rest. Um, it'll be a place where you can come in. So to reflect on how you were impacted that day in 9-11, we were all impacted on 9-11. That's why people from all over the world come here. That's why 1.4 million visitors have been here and uh, you know, to visit the temporary memorial. How many visitors do you expect to uh, come here every year once the memorial is finished? We're expecting around 250,000. And to put that in scope and scale, that'd be a 392 units national park system put in the top 20 for visitation. You've come a long way already with raising with 18 million, but you still need another 12 million. Is that correct? We need to raise another 18. And oh, 18 million. Yeah. I, got, I got it backwards. Okay. And, and, and when we've raised 12. We have another 18 to raise. We're going to raise it over the next year. Uh, the first phase of the memorial will be dedicated a year from today. If so people want to con that. want to contribute to that, how do they do that? There's many ways. First, I want to bring Chris Sullivan in too, who leads the campaign. Chris has done quite a bit to bring us to where we are today, and he continues with his leadership um, uh, to help uh, the foundation and friends and families and the Park Service, you know, complete uh, the fundraising for the campaign. Sir, may I, may I have your name, your name and your title, please, so I have that on my tape here? Yeah, I'm Neil Mulholland, the president and CEO of the National Park Foundation. Spell your last name. M-U-L-H-O-L-L-A-N-D. And sir, you are? Chris Sullivan, I'm the chairman of Flight 93 National Memorial Campaign. If yes. people do want to contribute it's, uh, to that, how do they do that? They can go on the website, which is honorflight93.org. Uh, they can uh, just go on the net and link to the National Parks Foundation. The links over there. There's multiple multiple ways to link in and how to contribute. And one of the great things about it, with the 10-year anniversary coming up, uh, and then by us breaking ground this past November, there is a sense of it is happening. It's going to be gone, and so we're we have a lot of momentum to to get this next 18 million dollars raised over the next 12 months. If I'm on the fence about it, maybe you can convince me why I should. When you think about what America is all about, what the freedom of our nation is all about, what these people did on that day to help preserve it and to give us a sense of courage about what they did uh, in that moment, it just why wouldn't you want to memorialize that in a very special way? Chris Solomon.